folks, welcome back to my channel, Pilot Fun 101. So everybody knows that I've been looking for ideas and companies out there for my panel upgrade. Uh, a couple of things I have my panel currently uh, should be replaced or getting kind of tired or original. And I've been looking over the last three years and saving for the last three years uh, to get something. And the stuff that's in my panel now that needs to be replaced or should be replaced is still expensive. You know, if you're to replace a, a turn coordinator, uh, HSI, there's still very expensive stuff to replace, believe it or not. Uh, so I've done my research for quite a while, quite a while, and uh, Garmin, of course, Aspen, and then Dynon. And Dynon I came across in Oshkosh last year. Uh, and I was like, wow, this product is really good. And I got the price points down. I'm like, wow, this product is really good and it's priced and it's priced perfectly for GA pilots like myself. We all have, well, not all of us. Some of us have a little more money than others. But I'll use me for an example. Uh, my 1968 Mooney. Is it worth putting sixty, seventy thousand dollars in a Garmin product? Uh, is it worth uh, putting you know two Aspens in at a, at a very expensive cost but still have my old instrument clutter, um, cluster and engine monitoring the old school way and just be stuck with that and then on top of that get my autopilot put in it's put me way over believe it or not what the Dion product is offering so and everybody says well is it's been around is it good uh, yes it's been around for decades for the experimental side um, and now, for, I, don't quote me, but I believe for the last four years, they have been certifying um, their panels for certified aircraft. And people still say, well, do you trust it? Well, again, if you go to a ShopRite and you buy a ShopRite brand soup and you have a Campbell brand soup, one's a dollar, one fifty cents, don't quote me, <laughs> but you turn them both cans around and you read the ingredients on them, right? It's the same exact ingredients on the side of the can. You're just paying for the name. Um, and that's the same thing in, in aviation when it comes to certified airplanes products. Uh, the FAA still has to approve that product to be in a certified airplane. Um, experimental, different category. They do things half the price and we have to pay for things. It is what it is. But certified airplanes, the FAA has to approve it. You have to get the insurance that you need um, and so on and so forth. So. A Gorman product, an Aspen product, whatever X product that you have out there that's certified by the FAA has to go through the same process and they have to get approved and they have to go through extensive research and testing and so on and so forth. So I feel very comfortable with the Dynon products. Um, I met somebody, I met uh, John, he has a, a Mooney K um, with the system in it. Um, he's flown it a couple times and I was over there on my last video checking it out. Awesome. Uh, Motor Aviation in Mount Pocono, MPO's the airport identifier, Mike Papa Oscar. Uh, they got their um, license to sell the product and to install the product. And I was over there and checked out um, their display unit, which is I recorded. Um, that is on one of the videos I have also I'll put in the, in the end of this video. And I messed with it for a long time. And it's really, really a good system. You get your charts high and low for IFR, you get your VFR charts, you get your traffic. Um, you know, you could, you could send my information on my iPad to my GPS, which we'll get into that next. And then that will go right into the Dynon system, Magenta Line, HSI, your six pack could be in there, engine monitoring is on there. So it's a whole complete package. It's not just getting, for example, two G5s, a, a, a different name autopilot, uh, you still have your engine. In, um, your old-fashioned engine monitoring for your, for your engine system, you know, of course, and then already replace that with a different system. It's too much going on uh, with different products in, in one panel. And what that does to me is it raises a lot of the pricing. At the end of the day, you're going to spend a lot of money on three, four different products on your panel instead of having just one product, like the Dynon system. Uh, and again, folks, don't get me wrong, Garmin is great. I, I believe my personal opinion, don't get mad at me, the, the, the Garmin guys out there, but Garmin kind of is, Garmin's kind of missing the opportunity 
for guys like me who make the money I make, who don't have, make a lot, a lot of money, but having fun with their hobby and their, and, and you know, my, uh, you know, goal in life was being a pilot. Um, and they're missing a the boat on people like me because there's a lot of us out there more than more than anything else. And when you're when you're overpricing a lot of stuff that the other companies can lower their costs, sell more, maybe more, you know, sell more. You make it on the volume side, not on you know, we sell one item, you make a lot of money, and you, you sell you sell less, and Dynon's just pushing out products to make it up that way. They're missing the boat. Um, Aspen is an awesome, a great product. I've looked into that. We are talking north of you know, 15, 18,000, depending on the pro, depending on a couple other options. You know, does it work with your, you know, and you're looking at screens like this, uh, skinny screens, and you get two, it breaks it up a little bit. You still have the two screens, and it kind of doesn't, again, great product, but for me, I don't need that. I'm looking for a, a one complete system. But back to Garmin, I think they're missing the boat. I really think they're missing the boat. Uh, they're, now they're coming out with some different ideas with GPS, comm radios, a little bit cheaper, a little bit, some other different things in there, uh, but they're kind of missing the boat. So Dynon, which I have right here, I got the brochure I've, I've had, oop, just dropped some, forever, and went through it, went through it, went through it, uh, did research, have Garmin booklets, have, um, Aspen books and so on and so forth and this is the way to go folks I mean you know I'm going to get I kind of cut this out and printed it out uh, you know this is what it looks like you know and sorry about the lighting I'm in I'm in down in my basement at home and I have the lights on high but I don't have the the light is at the airport that I use for my background so I don't I forgot it I don't have it at home so Excuse me for the lighting and attend the house here. But this is what the product looks like. Is there an auto zoom there? And that's a 10 inch screen. If you look at the bottom, you get your engine monitoring, you get your HSI, you get your tapes, altitude, your barometer, uh, your speed, everything is on that. I mean, if you look to, I don't know if you can see this, that is your next away point also or you have direct and this is just example folks here uh and look at that picture i mean this is a picture of a picture uh but once you're when you see it live it's a much better view but that's what i'm going to be getting and you can have it does have uh the vfr maps it's an overlay um, ifr low and high overlay synthetic vision right here synthetic vision comes with everything and very easy to update, very easy to do whatever you got to do. You give them your POH, they do their research, they match what your engine can do, the red lines and the yellow and the, the, yellow and the green. Um, and it, you also are going to get your uh, mixture, I mean, sorry, your um, gallons per hour burn. You can, right now I'm just guessing, it runs rough a little bit and I kick it back to two and a half uh, or one and a half turns depending on what I'm doing. Um, so, you know, it's... It's great. I think it's really great, and it also as a backup. You have to have a turn coordinator, and that would also be um, that's auto zooms here. There you go. I'd also be getting that. So my idea is to get two 10-inch screens. And why do I need two 10-inch screens? Um, number one, I think if one goes out, you do have a half an hour battery life in, in both of these. Uh, this will give you, I believe, four hours of battery life in case you lose the electrical system, the alternator. Um, but because the seven-inch screen, seven-inch screen and a little dark. I'm sorry, folks. The seven-inch screen compared to the ten-inch screen, it's only 200 hours more. So I just don't want to have one screen. I rather have two. And uh, why get a smaller one? when it's for $1,200 more if you're spending all this money to just get two 10-inch screens, right? So, you know, once I'm in flight, you know, you know, you see the bottom, the engine monitoring. Now, you can move this around any way you want to move it around. You don't have to have it in this configuration. Oh, it brightened up by itself there. You don't have to have it in this configuration. You can do half screen, full screen, engine monitoring on one side, you know, so on. There's a lot of different configurations on this, folks. So, uh, 
you know, you don't, you can just change what you want to change on it. But when I'm in flight, what I want to do is when I take off, I'm going to keep my engine monitoring right in front of me. Uh, but I'm going to move it over. Once I'm in flight, I'm going to make this screen bigger and get rid of the engine monitoring on the bottom. And I'm going to put the engine monitoring on the second screen in full. Unless I have a passenger who wants to mess around with it. But I'll have the engine monitoring on a full screen. This way, I'll have the engine monitoring. Um, and I'll also have my stuff in front of me. So this is basically what the, what's going to look like. So that's why I decided to do that. Um, and I got to tell you, to have the engine monitoring system, HSI, turn coordinator, you can put your six pack, your tapes for miles per hour uh, or knots, um, it, it should probably come up knots, you can change it. And your altimeter, your barometer, you know, everything in here is awesome. I have to say, it is awesome. My um, fuel pressure gauge, you know, which also is part of the um, RPMs. I'm sorry, it's part of the um, is it RPMs or is it the, I'm not sure, I forgot how it's set up. It's clear how it's set up. I think it's part of the RPMs. Um, it's kind of, it wavers, and every time I get it checked, it's fine. My, my fuel pressure is always fine, and never, I never have an issue. But it needs to be replaced, it's the original. Um, everything in, in my airplane right now, besides the turn one of the turn coordinators, is original. And they need to be, they need to be either replaced or do something like this. Um, even the old replacements of the coordinators and the engine monitoring that's all original, you know, 1968, which I can't believe it still works, it's very expensive to even replace the old stuff, to, to the new stuff, believe it or not. Uh, it is. It's thousand bucks, twelve hundred bucks for this, two thousand for this, eight hundred for that, and by the time you add it all up, it's like okay, it's it's cheaper than this, but wow, I have the same stuff and half it's used. So, folks, ninety nine percent chance I'll be getting the Dynot system. Uh, you can't beat it for the money. If I would tell you. No, I will tell you, all this stuff is under $20,000, I know, and my panel will be glass, all glass. I might keep one glide slope for one of the, from the backup radios, um, but all the stuff that Dion has, you, you can go on their website and do a price list yourself and see what you want to do, and that's all my, my ads that I have on there. Uh, and it does everything you need it to do, IFR, VFR, whatever you want to do. It, it takes a lot off you, and the traffic will come right on the screen. There's no traffic um, things on here to, to show you exactly, uh, but the traffic will appear on the screen. Um, you know, even the synthetic vision is again, it's really really cool to have this stuff for under twenty thousand dollars. If I know the Garmin guys are gonna yell at me. But if this was Garmin, you're talking forty-five, fifty thousand dollars, depending on what you're getting, because you have all the engine monitoring with this package. It's not just the screens with your tapes, HSI, and uh, you know, it's not just that. You get engine monitoring, you get cylinder, all four cylinder temperatures. You know, it goes up to six cylinder. Um, your amps, you know, everything is on here. So it's it's really, really inexpensive considering. And it is certified by the FAA. Uh, and also, folks, this is the um, IFD 540 from Avidon. I know. So another thing I will be getting in the Mooney, in my Mooney, is the 540. Um, I had the 540. You can get a, you can download it from your Apple Store if you have an iPhone. Um, but they give you training on how to use it, and I downloaded, been playing with it. So easy to do a flight plan, and even when you're in route to, if, they, if ATT tells you to go to direct somewhere else, it's easy to change your um, flight plan. Um, and the Avidime c talks to the Dynon system. So what I would do is. I'm sorry, my nose is a little itchy. <laughs> but what I would do is 
do my flight plan that night on my iPad on Four Flight because Four Flight is also another great product. I will when I go on my airplane. I I will send it to the Avidyne 540, and then what I do is you come over to the Dynon system on a one of the screens. It's a menu screens on the bottom here. Again, everything is on. The, you have bottom. If I can zoom in here. You have the bottom uh, screen uh, buttons that you can press, and you accept the flight plan. <clears throat> excuse me, from the Avidyne, and that flight plan that I did will go right on the Dynon main screen. What is better than that? You can't beat it at all. And it's $100 a year to update your charts to your current. You have to have current charts. Um, that's how much I pay for Four Flight. A little bit more for Four Flight I have my IFR stuff on there too. But it's amazing folks and um, that's what I'm doing. I, it will be an autopilot. The autopilot, as I get questions on the autopilot, the autopilot will be coming out on the Dynon system for the Moonies M20. They're, they have one in their hangar, they're, they're testing it, they've flown it. Uh, it's going to be approved hopefully very shortly. And what I'm going to do is, once I get my new panel, um, with all the cutouts, and when we get to approve it, we're going to cut where it needs to be. And my, hey, this is where it actually fell to the ground here. This is what I have to cut in the panel to have uh, level as you can see, that, that blue button on the bottom, I'm sorry folks with the lighting, but the level on the bottom here, um, awesome. If you're in any trouble, you get caught up in the clouds, you get dis disoriented, you never know folks. You know, experienced pilots, unfortunately, crashed because they got disoriented. All you got to do is you push that level button, the airplane will level out for you until you get you know, your bearings straight again and, and move forward. Uh, but they're going to cut out, cut it out where I want it to be on the panel, and then they'll, they'll cover it until they get it and then all they got to do is go in there and put in this. I'll have engine monitoring, I'll have my charts, I will have my autopilot, I will have my HSIs, I would have um, all my tapes, I'll have maps, I will have synthetic vision, all right in front of me from the airplane. And two screens will make it even better in case one goes out, God forbid, and or one goes to engine monitoring. Instead of having all these different brands, you know, on your, in your, on your um, panel, you have one system that works all well together. I have my Lynx transponder, it gives me traffic, it gives me everything I need to know as, as well. So I'm gonna have a backup of a backup of a backup, and plus my phone. So you have four backups, uh, you know, in, if, if all four go out, then the world's ending. At that point, I don't see how that's going to happen. So, folks, like I said, we are, you know, I am definitely thinking about Dynon, and I'm 98.9% .9 chance I am going to do it. And you're saying, well, what else? What's the other percent and a half or percent, whatever the hell I said? There isn't any. I am just going to do it, I believe, and be done with it. Um, I saved up the money. Uh, Kurt from Warrior Aviation, he's a manager, runs a place. Awesome operations uh, at, at Mount Pocono, MPO's identifier, like I said before. Great guy. It's almost seven days a week those guys work. It's, it's a really good business. And Kurt's going to help me out with some pricing. I'm going to do some, help him out with some sponsors, uh, you know, try to get him more business and work out together. I'm working something out with Dynon, and hopefully we can see what we can do. Uh, get some costs down, uh, promote the airplane, maybe at Oshkosh. I don't know. We'll see. Um, work on a couple things. Um, but Oshkosh this year, uh, if I bring my plane, which I'm looking to do, this will all be done, and it'll be an awesome display uh, for them. Well, folks, that's it. If you have any questions at all, you can put some comments below. I'm um, sorry if I offend any Gorman friends or uh, you know anything like that. I'm sorry, or Aspen friends. Or folks, they're great products. They're great products. All I'm saying is, for my budget, Dynon really works for me, and it gives you a, a lot of options for the money you're getting. Uh, that the other products offer in a nice size screen. But you can also email me at pilotfund101 at gmail.com. Thank you all for the, the comments uh, uh, or emails. And Pete, again, it gave me the mug that says uh, 
uh, Got Mooney, thank you again in the socks. I appreciate that. And congratulations again on your private. And thanks for watching. Well, folks, like always, fly safe, be safe. Until next time, see ya.